Hey viewers, welcome to Different Brains. I'm your host, Ruben Friedlander, and you're watching The Week in Neurodiversity. We're gonna get things started with Michael Phelps discussing mental health issues on CBS News. I, mean, I spent three or four days in my room in 2014 not wanting to be alive, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I mean, ever since, basically since the Olympics, I've that gone at least through one major depression spell, maybe two since then. So it, it's not something that's going to go away. You know, I understand it's okay to not be okay, and, and the things that I'm going through make me a human being. Over in Ohio, an assistant high school football coach with Down syndrome formed a special bond with his team. Nate, who has Down syndrome, is a former football player himself. Now, as Mason's coaching assistant, he sets up the practice field, helps with drills, and anything else the head coach might need. His bright spirit proves to be one of a kind to the program. A positive energy every day. Like He's just always coming in, happy, smiling, and it gets everybody excited and everybody like happy. When he walks into the locker room or when he walks into the coach's office, the coaches kind of perk up and they're like, all right, hey, Nate, Dog, Nate Dog's here, you know? Go Long for Luke is a campaign where kids get to play flag football to raise money for young individuals with autism. The kids decided to do a little flag football fundraiser and raise money for autism. The fundraiser started five years ago in New York. We thought we would have about 20 kids playing flag football and we had about 120 the first year. Now the Greenfields are planning the very first Go Long for Luke here in Atlanta. And it's just such a great way for the community to come together and raise awareness for autism. Next up, we're going to learn a few things about the physical symptoms of depression in adolescence. Well, what we see in teens is we usually see that irritability is the biggest one, social withdrawal. We see hypersensitivity to criticism a lot of times, and then we see unexplained aches and pains. We can also see some of the common symptoms, loss of interest, Poor school prognosis, you know, doing poorly in school, eating or sleeping too much, weight gain, weight loss, things like that. You mentioned unexplained aches and pains. So there, there are actual physical signs you can look for? Absolutely. And finally, UFC veteran Brad Kohler has made a donation to Rocksteady Boxing to give patients with Parkinson's better equipment to work with. Kohler learned about the Parkinson's focus program from a friend at another gym. He quickly recognized some of the unique struggles these fighters face. The heavy bags were just too hard to hit. Already Rocksteady Mid-Michigan uses this type of exercise to fight back against the nervous system disorder that mainly affects body movement. It will not cure Parkinson's, but it sure kicks it in the butt. I wanted to go somewhere where somebody was actually going to get a lot of great use out of it. Uh, it wasn't going to collect dust. While you're here at Different Brains, be sure to check out some of our other content, like Exploring Different Brains with Dr. Hacky Reitman and the Spectrumly Speaking podcast hosted by Becca Laurie and Dr. Catherine Cody. That wraps it up for this episode. Which story caught your eye the most? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and remember, you keep advocating, and we'll keep bringing the news.